Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down another big pattern change that'll be coming to the United States early next week and this is going to bring a ton of changes to our weather pattern including a lot more rainfall across much of the United States wintry precipitation for some in the form of freezing rain and even some snow across parts of the United States in addition to a big spike in our temperatures they are about to increase by quite a bit across much of the country. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll begin with the Central Plains and we actually have a little bit of activity right now moving across the Rocky Mountains this afternoon and we actually have a low pressure system that's back over near Colorado and Wyoming and over the next 24 hours what we'll be watching for is the potential for some snowfall across parts of the Central Plains the Midwest and as well as the Ohio Valley this could bring an additional coating to a few inches of snow and we'll be talking about more specific details on this later in this forecast so make sure you stay tuned back over on the east coast things are drying out quite a bit we had a strong cold front just go through florida earlier today and this has brought wind chills down into the 20s and 30s in parts of florida over in the panhandle believe it or not there was reports of snow and as well as sleet falling out of the atmosphere in parts of the pensacola area so if you know anybody over there they might have seen that this morning very bright and early right around sunrise there's a little bit of sleet and snow reported there again not really something you see very often but with how strong the cold front was and with just enough moisture we saw that happen but again no accumulation came out of it southern plains as well staying dry for now but that will be changing as we go into early next week now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states over the next several days and to look at that we're going to look at the jet stream because there are some pretty big changes coming to our weather pattern but right now we do have a zonal jet stream across the northern tier of the united states which isn't something we've really seen recently Recently. We've got a lot more of these big dives into the southern plains, which has led, obviously, to the Arctic blast that we had this past week. And also further up here to the north, we do have a trough. It's an upper-level low-pressure system just north of the Great Lakes. And this is going to be a pretty interesting system to watch here over the next couple of days because as we go into Thursday and a Friday, the main core of that low-pressure system will move east, but there will still be parts of it left over back north of Wisconsin. And what this is actually going to lead to is a bit of digging into the uh, jet stream as we go into late Thursday and a Friday, and that'll allow for for another shot of Arctic air across the Midwest and the Great Lakes. So you'll see that here as we go into Friday afternoon and evening. That is your low pressure system right there. Pretty strong jet stream still across much of the United States. And then once we go into Saturday into Sunday, that Arctic air will continue to move to the east and as well as to the southeast. So we'll get another shot of cold air across parts of the east coast, the northeast, and again, the Midwest. Once we go into Saturday into Sunday, though, things become pretty calm across the United States overall, but that won't last long. The weekend seems to be pretty dry overall for most of the country. But once we go into Monday into Tuesday, we're going to get a little bit of troughing back down here in the subtropical jet stream, back down in the southern plains as we go into Monday and Tuesday. This will allow for a lot of moisture to come out of the Gulf of Mexico. We'll end up seeing some showers and storms and perhaps even some severe weather across parts of the southern plains, back even into the Midwest. We'll be looking at some rainfall and perhaps even some wintry precipitation. And these will all be things to watch for next week. And this low pressure system, by the way, doesn't look like it's going to be moving much. We might have this weather pattern in place for a good large chunk of the work week next week and that could lead to a lot of rainfall across much of the southern and central plains so that'll definitely be an interesting weather pattern to watch for and in terms of the moisture it is very dry across the united states right now but once we go into early next week again notice the strong southerly winds will start to pick up and that'll allow at least for some moisture to come into parts of the southern plains but again all that moisture will even stretch all the way up into the midwest and this will allow again for a pretty active week next week across the united states with plenty of shots of showers and storms and also some wintry precipitation in the united states so what does this exactly look like on the future radar who's going to see rain who's going to stay dry etc well let's talk about the next couple of days first we're going to see again a little bit of snowfall in the midwest and the ohio valley as we go into thursday and friday i'll be talking about this more in detail here in just a couple minutes so make sure you stay tuned once we go into saturday and sunday it'll become much drier and then early next week by monday into tuesday we'll begin to notice moisture coming out of the gulf of mexico and this will again lead to some showers showers and storms across parts of the southern plains and we'll also be watching for this sunday night into monday morning for perhaps some light to moderate wintry precipitation in arkansas oklahoma and perhaps in northern north texas it's very uncertain what will exactly will happen here but we might see some freezing rain if this ends up happening i'm not too concerned though about this because if we do see freezing rain it will melt off as we go into monday mainly because of the fact we're going to be having a lot of warm air coming out of the gulf of mexico so that'll basically mean if we do see any ice it will be on sunday 
Sunday, and it'll probably melt by Monday, depending on where you are. This one we're looking at going to Tuesday. Again, notice that rain will start to lift off to the north, and this will likely go into the Midwest. And the Midwest is a bit of a wild card place right now, uh, Tuesday into Wednesday. We might get some wintry precipitation here, perhaps in the form of snow and sleet, and as well as rain, just pure rain. Or we might just see pure rain in general if enough warm air lifts off to the north. So this will be an interesting area to watch. I think regardless, at some point next week, we will be above freezing in the Midwest, almost undoubtedly at this point. Once we go into Thursday and a Friday of next week, things become much more uncertain since we're looking at the long term, but we will likely have that low pressure system moving off to the north and northeast, perhaps even some showers and storms along the Gulf Coast, and that might lead to some severe weather as well later next week. But right now, if we are to see any severe weather, it's more likely than not going to be sometime around Monday and Tuesday in the Southern Plains. Looks to be a very low threat, though, at this time. In terms of the temperatures, again, we'll have another shot of Arctic air by Thursday and a Friday. I know, I know, I know. We want this to go away. A lot of you at least do. And we're going to continue to see this again across much of the Midwest and the Central Plains and even back into the East Coast by Friday and a Saturday. But I do want to mention that as we go into Monday and a Tuesday, all this orange and red that you're seeing here, that is going to mean that we're going to go right back to above average temperatures for much of the country next week. We might even get close to record-breaking high temperatures in parts of Canada as we go into Wednesday of next week. So again, crazy weather overall. And this warm weather pattern will likely stick with us for the rest of January. So again, one more shot of Arctic air, then warmer weather will start to arrive here to much of the United States. In terms of temperatures, as we go into tomorrow morning, again, we'll be looking at temperatures still sub-zero across much of the upper Midwest. Actually, across much of like the uh, southern Midwest, we'll be actually in the mid to upper 20s for low temperatures. We'll have a couple areas get above freezing, but Chicago going to stay below freezing. Next time, we'll be above freezing in the Chicago area, probably going to be around Monday afternoon, if not Tuesday afternoon of next week. And as we head further into the week, again, we're going to get pretty warm here across the United States. There's a good shot that parts of the Ohio Valley could get into the low 60s by Thursday, which is just crazy to think. And again, we're talking about next Thursday, not this Thursday. But again, just crazy stuff overall here across the United States. All right, let's talk more about this wintry weather event that'll be occurring across the Midwest and the Ohio Valley going into mainly tomorrow and Friday. So tonight, some lake effect snow across parts of really the far northern Michigan Peninsula. And we're not really going to see much up there. It's going to be very minimal. It's really impacting only a few people up there. Once we go into Thursday morning, we'll be looking at a bit more of a light snow from about central Illinois back into northern Ohio. And this is what we're going to be watching for uh, Thursday afternoon. It will be another band of some snow showers back over in Iowa and southern Minnesota. And this will allow for perhaps another additional coating to two inches of snow for much of the Midwest. And once we go into late Thursday night into Friday morning, notice this, Ohio, you're going to have some snowfall. I know a lot of you want some snow there. So there will be some snow there as we go into really primarily overnight Thursday night into Friday morning. And we might even get another band of lake effect snow across northwest Indiana. And if that ends up happening, we are going to probably see at least a few inches of snow, perhaps even several inches of snow in some spots. So in terms of early estimates on snowfall accumulation, we're looking at a coating to two inches for much of the Midwest. With the lake effect snow, though, we could easily get more than that. I mean, we could be talking upwards of six to 12 inches of snow here in a very small sector of northwest Indiana if that all ends up happening. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll be keeping you posted with the latest as this event unfolves. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already.